This is a tutorial video talking about cutting and I'm going to be going over the different elements of cutting. So how to cut into space, how to be a smarter cutter, so timing your cuts, and also how to beat the defender to space by sprinting versus jogging. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be forcing, since Pat's a lefty, we're going to force him backhand. And then ultimate Corey will be on offense in white, Jeff will be defense in dark. So what we're looking at here is Jeff is on the force side, since it's a backhand force. So the open space here for Corey is going to be obviously on the break side. And the open force for Pat will be on the force side. So what we have to first understand is cutting into space for Corey means either making that break cut. So either making that break cut and hopefully Pat can break it. And if Pat doesn't have that throw, then we'll have another cut coming in. But what we, what we also want to work on for Corey is to fake Jeff to the point that he can run onto the open side and have a nice throw from Pat. So for this, you can fake going deep a couple steps. Perfect. Nice, e nice easy one. Okay, so the key to remember here when Corey was cutting, he didn't just do one step, he did three or four steps. He actually needs to get Jeff moving so he can get his hips turned, get him going in one direction and then quickly switch back to the other direction. This one Corey's going to be cutting deep, faking deep, and then coming under. Okay, one thing you notice as well is Corey's going at speed. He's not just jogging, because if he's jogging, Jeff can jog. If Corey speeds up, Jeff can speed up. So if Corey's going fast, Jeff has to be going fast. And then when Corey changes direction, it's very easy for him to get him going the wrong way because Corey knows where he's going, Jeff doesn't know where he's going. Um, we're not really focused on the throw and the mark here. All that matters is that it's a backhand force, so we know based on where the cutters upfield are, where the open space is. Corey will show us now how not to cut, first by only jogging and not sprinting, and how easy it is for Jeff to keep up with him, and when Corey changes direction, it's actually pretty easy for Jeff to go with him, and uh, it's really tough for Corey to, to get him to change direction. So just do a cut where you're jogging sort of around. All right, so Jeff can actually keep up to Corey just by shuffling. If Corey was sprinting, then Jeff would actually have to turn and sprint, which turns his hips, and then Corey can fake and go back the other direction. Whereas when Jeff's shuffling, his hips are facing Corey the whole time, and Corey can't really get him off balance. Yeah, and this is another one. This is common amongst handlers. So handlers really need to be aware that they need to take, like I said, three or four steps, get the other person changing direction, turning their hips and running with them, so they can make that fake step and come back. If you watch any sort of football videos, watching uh, wide receivers in football, they're incredible at this. So they, they go full speed and they stop and plant on the foot and turn back and they get their defender going the wrong direction and it's very easy for them to get open. And finally, the last bad cut by Corey is gonna be going too close to the handler. So one thing we wanna do is keep a buffer zone. In the horizontal offense, we talk a bit about this, how there's an imaginary lion, the handlers don't cross it, the cutters don't cross it. In reality, it's not really that way, but it's just, it's a good way to keep the handlers and the cutters separated. So in this case, Corey's gonna be cutting way too close to Pat, and Pat is gonna have nothing, and it's gonna actually shut it down, and we don't wanna see this from cutters. So he's already too close, just going back and forth. You'll also see this a lot of times from cutters right on the end zone line, because they're so close to the end zone, they really want that score and so they try that throw and it's easy for G off to get a hand in and get the D on the disc. That was a tutorial video talking about cutting for the Calgary Ultimate Association. <laughs>